Hi guys, we are at Epcot today for the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. The festival runs until November 23rd and we'll be checking out all it has to offer. Today, since I am cheese, we picked up our festival passport for a meals fromage montage. We're going to try five new to us cheesy offerings, including cheesesteak, macaroni and cheese, and Spanish charcuterie. We're also going to pick up a scavenger hunt map for Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak and search for Remy's statues around the park for a prize. Let's see where the festival day takes us. I'm Brittany, and this is Extra Magic Minutes. We found our first Remy. He's trying to steal it. No, Remy, no. On our way in, we picked up our festival passport. This has all the menus for the booths in here. They have a little page with merch, but they also have at the back where you get your stamps for your meals fromage montage, which is what we're focused on today. And we got our first stamp already. We stopped into Mac Atizers, which is inside Communicor Hall. I think it's supposed to be macaroni and cheese. And they changed the shapes this year. The boyfriend said they're cheese shaped. I'm saying, what cheese is this shape? I don't know. They were usually circles in the past, but it's fine. It's cute. And they also have a list on this side of all the offerings for the Emile's Fromage Montage. There are 14 different offerings. You only have to get five of those. So you get five and you get five stamps and then you get a prize at the end. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, obviously we're not gonna get all 14 we're just gonna get five of the new things that we haven't tried before and the Macetizers booth is new. They did have a Mac and Eats booth two years ago that had Mac and Cheese, um, but we didn't get to try it. So this is the first time we're having Mac and Cheese at the festival. We got the cheese steak macaroni and cheese with shaved beef, peppers and onions, and breadcrumbs. And this is part of a Meals Fromage montage. And it was $6.50. They also have like a plain Mac and Cheese, they have a truffle Mac and Cheese, and they have a plant-based one. And I was talking to the cast member and they said at the booth before, when they had sort of similar offerings, the plant-based one was the one they liked the best. So maybe we'll have to come back and try that one. I like that it has breadcrumbs on the top. Those look good. Let's take a bite. I will say that the mac and cheese is a little bit dry. I've never been a huge Disney mac and cheese fan. I don't think I've found a mac and cheese that I love here. And this one's like, it's spiral pasta. It doesn't feel super cheesy though. Like I wish there was some cheese pull or something. It's kind of just a little bit dry. What I do really like about it are the toppings. I think the steak is good and there was a lot of it. The peppers are great. If you like cheese steaks, you'll definitely like this. I would say there's not really any spice on it. Not that a cheese steak usually has spice outside of peppers. But I like the toppings a lot. I just think the mac and cheese is kind of whatever. Like it adds a cheesy element to it, but it's not like the star of the dish. I'd say the star of the dish is the toppings. But there's lots of steak, so I'm impressed by that. The steak's like, you know, it's it's shaved steak, but it's like well cooked and not chewy or anything like that. There's like caramelized onions in here, peppers, red and green. I'm sure we'll try the other ones throughout the time that the festival's going on, but I feel like if you're gonna get one, you should get one with toppings because the toppings are the star. And this was really good. Where's the cheese? See, there's a noodle here. I mean, and then this one is pimento. I'm being generous, but there's a noodle here, so I think this is supposed to be mac and cheese. And then we just got another stamp, a bowl of pimento cheese. <laughs> Why is that the crunchiest thing I've ever eaten in my life? I'm gonna see if they're all that crunchy, because that one was like hard to eat. 
chocolate bar. It's a decent snack. It's just barbecue pork rinds with pimento cheese dip. And this is on the Emile Fromage Montage as well. So we got another stamp. Um, it's like a lot of seasoning on these. It does taste like barbecue, but it also is just like a front spice that's like kind of just like spicy to be spicy. The pimento cheese dip is really good though. Not spicy at all. Has little peppers in it. There's a lot of it. Um, the first chip I had was very hard. It would have broken like a colonial woman's teeth. Mine are a little stronger than that, so that's good. This one's a little softer, but it has so much, like so much spice on it. And it was only $5, so I think this is a lot for five bucks. Maybe you could take some of this pimento cheese and throw it on the mac and cheese to get some extra cheese on there. They're right next to each other. This is from Festival Favorites. And uh, the mac and cheese is right inside Communicor Hall, so you could combine them into something delicious, maybe. They also have a s'mores milkshake over there, and I realize this is the longest we've gone without a dessert. I'm gonna have to find a dessert. We're supposed to just do the Emile Fromage Montage today, but I saw some people order the s'mores shake that they have, and I was like, I really want that. I should have got that. Anyway, this is good too. More cheese. In addition to Emile's Fromage Montage, we're also doing Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak today. This is the scavenger hunt where you go around World Showcase mostly and find Remy's. So you do have to buy this map. It's $9.99 and we got ours at uh, Creation Shop, but they have them at some other locations. So we did find our first Remy. This one is new this year. It's at Communicore Hall. And uh, I guess we're just doing like a whole Ratatouille day. I'm dressed as cheese. We brought Remy. So it's been a really long time since we've had dessert. The whole video actually. And that's not the usual for us because we love sweets, we being me. So even though we're doing the cheese stroll today, there is a cheesecake on the cheese stroll and it's new this year. So we're gonna go over and try that. Time for dessert, time for dessert. Sweets and sugar and dessert. new. They have like little fake pumpkins around, maybe some like festive fall looking stuff. And I don't see the cornhole anymore, which is a disappointment. I love the cornhole. Unironically, because I'm terrible at it. to Milden Mold, which is a new booth this year, and they have the Borson Fig and Balsamic Cheesecake with Fig Jam and Pomegranate. This is on Emile's Fromage Montage, so we did get a new stamp, and it was $5.25, and finally, we get to have dessert. It looks like sweet potato pie. Let's try it. Mm. What's this sauce on the plate? I take more of that, that's delicious. That's actually great. It's like Fig Newton cheesecake. So if you like Fig Newtons, you like cheesecake, that's what this is. The cheesecake is light and fluffy. This sauce on the plate, I think it's like a gastrique, like an apple, maybe? It's really good. I wish there was more of it. And a gastrique is just like a plate sauce. It's just reduced like fruit usually. Yeah, I love the crunch of the nuts in there and then everything else is soft and fluffy. It really does taste like a Fig Newton and I love Fig Newtons. I really like this a lot. And we got another stamp. So now we have three out of five that we need. I like that there are sweet and savory things on Emile's fromage montage. Cause you think like, oh, fromage montage is gonna be all cheesy cheese things. But there's a couple of sweets as well. So I'm very happy about that. And this is really good. I would definitely suggest getting this one. Love to. All right, now you're gonna hold it out in front of you like you're sauteing, okay? There we go. Beautiful, good Thanks. job. Thank you. So it looks like the Australia booth for now is a temporary booth. The actual booth is located a little bit further down, but they just built it. So I think maybe it's either not ready or they don't have the permits that they need. So the food's still here. It'll just move down like 10 feet away. I don't know when, maybe in a few days, maybe in a few weeks. 
but uh, they're still in here and I, it looks like it's really hot in that tent. I hope they have air conditioning, but I feel like they just have fans. It's hot. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly latte. It's espresso, I got almond milk in it, peanut butter syrup, raspberry syrup, and I did get it with whipped cream on the top even though I probably shouldn't. We're having dairy today, obviously. It's a cheese-filled day. That is weird. It tastes like raspberry, that's for sure. Raspberry and coffee. I'm not getting a lot of peanut butter. We wanted to try all the Joffrey's coffees. There's four different ones, and obviously we're not able to do it in one video. So we thought we'd get one today even though we're doing Emile's fromage montage. Yeah, it really just tastes like raspberry and coffee. Not a lot of peanut butter. but I brought coffee. We stopped into the Odyssey building to cool off a little bit, and they actually have more Muppet stuff this year. We are going to be coming back in just a couple of days to review this booth and a lot of other booths, but like I said, we're trying really hard to just be doing Emile's Fromage Montage. I keep wanting to get things like the pickle milkshake, which I love. Shout out to the pickle gang. Uh, I also met a really cool family while I was in here. I'm so sorry we didn't get a picture, but the boyfriend was getting shots, and I was like, I don't know what to do, he's not here. So it was really nice to meet you. I'm glad you liked the fries, and I'm glad you found me for my cheese hat. Next, we're gonna go into the World Showcase, and we're gonna look for Remy's on our scavenger hunt. And we have a couple more stops on our cheese stroll. We need a Remy montage. Remy scavenger hunt montage because we had to come back to a Remy's Ratatouille adventure because that's where the Remy is back here and we had to get a picture. They have a magic shot where you get to reach out and grab Remy and it's always really fun to do. It's not special for food and wine but I have the cheese outfit on so I had to do it and I forgot to mention earlier that I also got cheese nails. I tried to match the hat. I brought it to uh, Tammy, my favorite nail lady, and I was like, we need cheese nails, Tammy. We're going to food and wine. Yeah, I got cheese nails. <laughs> my favorite Remy and I made a friend so I let him do the stamp the sticker in the book today because he was so cute they're doing really great on their scavenger hunt same as us and that's one of the things I love about the scavenger hunt you always run into people who are also doing it so you could be like did you find this one where is that one because there's one we can't find so far we're gonna have to keep looking we've got a bunch more to go
stopped at the Spain booth for another item on our Meals Fromage montage. This is the Spanish charcuterie. It's jamón, manchango, and pan con tomate. And I'm really excited for this one because I love tomatoes so much. So I think it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna start with what I'm most excited about. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. It was $6.50 and I think that's a great value for it. It's nice because it's light compared to a lot of the other dishes, which are like fall flavors and I'm happy to have them, but right now it's 90 degrees and it's nice to have something that's light and fresh. I love the tomato on there. It's not just like tomato, it has olive oil. It's really great, like that that acidity from that. The cheese is very rich and salty and the jamon is salty as well, but it's very like fine, like thin. You can almost see through it. That is well, well sliced. Mm. I was really looking for something super salty because it's so hot out and this is light and amazing and really great value for what it is. I would definitely get this again. It's really good. No, no, my pen con tomate. <gasps> no. Oh, the tomato. Oh, no. It's okay, it's still good. It's bread. Mm. I got another stamp for our Meals Fromage Montage. We only need one more, and then we can get the completer prize. Ooh. And we've got all new things. This one is, um, and the boyfriend wants me to point out that he mentioned that these were cheese-shaped, and look, they really are cheese-shaped. Because I think this is a block of cheese. Put this here. This is cheese-shaped. Cheese-shaped. So I guess you're right. You're right. It's cheese-shaped. We're more than halfway through our Remy's Ratatouille hide and squeak. We're gonna power through these Remy's. We're gonna get to see them really fast. We're gonna find them so quick. Time for a montage. I, I wanted to do it, but it's like hard to find. You know what? It's so strange to me. I have three stickers left and I have two countries. <laughs> so which one's extra? I don't really know what to make of that because like, can we not complete it? Is there a country missing? I didn't see any other Remy's that I was like, aren't on here? Or is there just an extra sticker to have an extra sticker? I have no idea. I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to the second day of Food and Wine. We did not intend to have this go over two days. However, we had some technical difficulties, which meant we had to come back out and eat some more cheese. So I pulled my cheese dress out of the laundry, put my cheese crown back on, and I'm back out here to try some more cheese items. And also my family is visiting us. So I've been at Epcot all day, like just doing regular Epcot things. And we were like, let's just finish the video out strong, do what we meant to do. And so I'm re-re-reviewing the pumpkin mascarpone ravioli. And uh, the boyfriend's gonna put my first review here. 
The pumpkin marscapone ravioli is from Forest and Field, which is a new booth this year, and it comes with sage brown butter, pecorino cheese, and hazelnut praline, and this is on the Emile's Fromage Montage. Now this is the second time that I've completed the Emile's Fromage Montage. I've eaten a lot of cheese in the last couple of days, but I got all the stamps. I got to try some of my old favorites today with my family, and I'm trying these pumpkin raviolis again. I will say the first time I had them, I didn't really love them because I felt like they needed a sauce or something, but this time they have a lot more cheese on there, so that might make it better. It has less of the hazelnut praline though, and I did like that last time. So we're gonna find out. It just kind of goes to show like the first day of the festival can be very different from even the third day of the festival and that they make so many dishes that the consistency is kind of like here or there. It's not always like the exact same thing every time. So uh, let's check it out. This has actually been a very interesting experiment because since we tried it before and now I'm trying it now, I can compare the two together, which I've never gotten to do before. Usually I try things once and then I'm like, gotta eat something else. So um, the first time that I had it, I felt like it really needed a sauce or like ricotta in with the pumpkin that would really make a big difference. And ours that time had some crispy sage on it. This one doesn't have crispy sage on it. However, it is much better the second time because I think the first time I didn't get any sage butter sauce. This time it tastes like butter and sage. Last time it didn't taste like sage or butter at all and it was kind of dry. It's much better this time. I thought the filling last time was reminding me a little bit of baby food. This time it's like a little bit more texture. It's not so pureed and that really helps. I still think it would be better if it had some ricotta and pumpkin in it or if it had a cheese sauce on it. Since it's on the cheese stroll, I think more cheese would be, but I always want more cheese. But this is much better than the first time we had it. That butter sage sauce really makes the dish. So it did need a sauce, which is what I said last time. And uh, yeah, I think this is really good now. So I would suggest it. It's been four days and I've done two whole Emile's fromage montages. That's a lot of cheese. But I really am excited to get to try the prize again and it's not dark out for once. I was saying in our last time we filmed that I've never gotten a prize before it got dark out and I'm finally gonna get one while there's still daylight. So let's go get the prize for our second Emile's Fromage Montage. It's huge! Almost every stamp, I actually think it is every stamp that they have. I got them all. Every cheese. And we've got our prize. And they gave way more this time than last time, so it is very fortuitous to have it for a second time. So this is the redemption prize for Emile's Fromage Montage. You can only get it if you complete the food stroll with all the cheese on it. And it's uh, vanilla and blueberry soft serve swirl and has a little cheesecake bite on the top. And uh, I'm very excited to have it. So good. The blueberry is not as tart as I would like because I really like like a lime Dole Whip, a lemon Dole Whip, something like tart and sour. It's more sweet, but I thought it was vanilla and I actually think it might be more like frozen yogurt-y flavor. Like it has a tanginess, like a yogurt that is in the vanilla flavor. I don't say like what is in it. I'm sure you could ask at the window, but every time I'm like, my ice cream, goodbye. But it tastes like, like frozen yogurt and blueberry. Oh, you know what? It's cheesecake flavored, duh. So cheesecake and blueberry, hello. And then let's have this little cheesecake bite. It's some ice cream. Mm. It's so good. And I got another cup. I'm so excited. I always put markers or like pens on my desk in these and I switch them out like depending what festival we're on. And now I have three. Cause I had one from last year and two from this year. Oh no. I got brain freeze again. We did many a montage for our Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak scavenger hunt. But there's one more Remy that we have to show. He's over by Coastal Eats, and he and the one at Community Court Hall are the only ones that are in the front. We did already go get our prize, but I've got to show you that other Remy, and I have to tell you something funny that happened with the map when we get over there. That was the final Remy we had to find for our Remy Ratatouille Hide and Squeak scavenger hunt. And then we brought our map in to get our prize. And um, it was very interesting because 
I was mentioning earlier that there's a sticker that doesn't correspond with any circle. And so I asked the cast members when I brought the map in to get the prize if that was like a mistake. Am I, did I miss a rat? Is there like a secret rat that I was supposed to find? And they said, no. People were just putting it anywhere on the map. They said, a lot of people putting it on the spoon. Some people were just wearing it, like sticking it on them. And it does kind of match my yellow outfit. But they said there's no like secret rat or anything like that. So I guess there's just an extra sticker this year. I have no idea. We also got our prize. This year it's a bowl and they had a bunch of different options. They had Figment, they had Mickey and Minnie Chef, they had Remy, they had just like a food and wine one. And of course I had to pick the Remy one because it's his festival. It's his scavenger hunt. So I had to get that one. This is the bowl that we got. It has a little Remy on it. He's holding a piece of cheese. The inside says only eat the good stuff. And then there's a bunch of good food on the outside. And I am definitely gonna be using this bowl for my cereal every morning. I have Cheerios like almost every day for breakfast with some berries and things. That's more information than you needed, but I love cereal. So this is a great cereal bowl. It's like the perfect size. You can only get this bowl if you complete the scavenger hunt, but there's a ton of merch for Food and Wine Festival and we're gonna go check it out right now in Creation Shop. Come on, let's go. They have a new Remy lug bag. It has Remy on the front and his little chef hat. And then on the back it says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. This one is 65 and the lug bags you can kind of wear like a bunch of different ways. You can wear a crossbody, you can wear like a fanny pack around your waist. I just think they feel like very durable, which is nice. They have a lot of different compartments. And the inside has this cute print that looks like the bowl we got for the scavenger hunt. They have this adorable Remy egg timer and it says International Food and Wine Festival on the back. I don't know why it's called an egg timer. It's just to time eggs. I usually time everything on like my Alexa or my microwave, but if I had this, I probably would use this. And this one is $24.99. It's so cute, look at the little ears. They have this adorable shirt with Remy in the pocket. He's holding a little piece of cheese. This one is $34.99. On the back it says, if you are what you eat, only eat the good stuff. And then it says, L'heure de manger, which is the hour of eating, and has Remy with his little chef hat. And I just really like this color. It's like a nice wine maroon color. You don't see a lot of merch in this color, but I feel like it's really great for the festival. This is the same print as our bowl, but it kind of reminds me of Nurse's Scrubs. Not that that's a bad thing, but I just feel like maybe it's like the trim on it. It looks like figs or like something a cool nurse would wear. And I'd be like, ooh, I love your Remy shirt. He's my favorite. And they'd be like, oh, I love Remy. And then we'd be best friends. This shirt is so nice. Two of my favorite colors, different shades of blue, and it's sort of like a baseball ringer tee, but short sleeved. And it has like a simple little food and wine on the front. And then on the back, it has Chef Mickey. He's in his little hat, he's making some food. He's got an avocado there, a man of taste. I also really love this tank top. You don't see a lot of tank tops and it's so hot here all the time. But I think they should really make more tank tops, maybe less sweatshirts, even though I love sweatshirts. Anyway, this one has Minnie, but Chef Minnie. Look, she's also working in the kitchen. She's a great chef. Well, there is that one episode of the cartoon where she lights her whole apartment building on fire trying to make a cake, but it looks like she's a good chef on here. And then the back is really cute. It has this cool print that they have like sort of for this whole Mickey and Minnie chef collection. It says, my pickling will make you jelly. Best baker on earth. I've been known to mix things up. Well, and the t-shirt and tank top are both $34.99. I sort of expected the tank top to be a little bit cheaper since it's less material, but they are the same price. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, they're heavy. Oh my gosh. These are good quality. These are like kind of like porcelain or glass. They're mixing, not mixing, they're measuring cups and they're $24.99, which is absolutely worthwhile because they are really good quality. And on the front, they have like the different Mickey and Minnie chef prints and on the back, it says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival and has the year on it. I love dated merch because it reminds you when you came, but these are really nice, very good quality. I might end up getting these, but I'm gonna wait as the festival goes on and see if they get a little discounted because I don't really need them, but I do want them. So cute. The merch I am most excited about. They have a very small Muppet Labs collection and if there's Muppet merch, we have to get it. It's just simply the rule. There isn't that much of it, so when you see it, you have to grab it. 
It just has like a Muppet Labs like fake pocket that's like drawn on, which is very Muppety, right? And then on the back, it has Bunsen and Beaker, and it says Muppet Labs, and I just love it. And it's in a nice like aqua color, which is a color I really like to wear. They have a couple other things too. It's really just like a cup, another kid's shirt, but this shirt is the shirt. I love it. I kind of love this annual pass holder hat. It has figment on it, and he's eating some grapes. He looks very dramatic. It says International Food and Wine Festival, and it's sort of like embroidered on the edge. It has puppy paint on it. And then on the back, it has a cute little Spaceship Earth. And uh, this one's $29.99, like I said, just for pass holders, but I just like the figment art on there. And it has different pavilions, too. Of course, they have a food and wine logo collection. It has some shirts, salt and pepper shakers, a corksicle. But the things I was most excited about was this really cute t-shirt. It's a ringer, and it has uh, just like the logo on the front, Food and Wine Festival. I do like the colors they're using this year. It's like hot pink, lime green, and turquoise, three of my favorite colors. Actually, oh, those are my three favorite colors, so I love that those are there. And then on the back, it has this really cute graphic. It's got like a charcuterie board. It's got nuts, it's got cheese. But the best part about it is it has this little weird cheese walking Spaceship Earth cheese man. The boyfriend says it's cheese and crackers. I say it looks like Spaceship Earth grew feet and is walking away. It's going, and the feet are made of cheese. And they also have a hat with that on there. Why? What reason? I will definitely have to buy it because it's such a weird little logo. I kind of love it. I know it's cheese and a cracker. Absolutely. Okay, I get it. But it also is supposed to look like Spaceship Earth and it looks like it has feet. And he's just like, oh bye. I'm going to a little wine and cheese party. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. And it has the, <laughs> on the back it says Food and Wine Festival. It's embroidered. It's actually a really nice hat. And it's $29.99. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting this one. Disney has been doing a lot of acid wash shirts lately, and I'm not mad about it at all because I love acid wash. This one is a beautiful purple color. It's not really figments purple, it's more like a like a darker plum purple, but I really love this color. And then the back has the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. They have this kind of like very like 90s graphic art for figment for this collection that I love. And he's like cooking, look, he's so cute. This lunch bag is so cute. I feel like it would be perfect to put I don't know, a pint of ice cream in there. You could also put lunch, of course. It's $14.99, it has figment on it. It's like this coral color with purple. I think those go really great together. I also love the figment spirit jersey. I just like this plum color that they chose for it. I feel like I really want it and it feels like a really nice quality. Sometimes the spirit jerseys feel a little, I don't wanna say crispy, but they feel kind of like hard. This one feels very soft. The back says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. It has figment on it, of course. It doesn't have a price, so it's probably 88. That's like the usual price for spirit jerseys. There's too many things that I want. What am I gonna do? I know I want the Muppet shirt, but I also like really want like everything figment. I don't have money for everything figment. They have a turvis, salt and pepper shakers. They have a mug. The mug is so cute because it has figment. He's got a plate of stuff. And on the other side, it has Spaceship Earth, it has a pavilion, it has a little picnic that Figman put together, and it says Epcot Food and Wine Festival. And this one's $19.99, so like the usual mug price, but I think that's pretty reasonable. Of course, there's an adorable Figment lounge fly. It has the same sort of print for this whole collection. Figment on the front, and has a little zip pocket in the front. And then the straps are really cute on the back. They're that coral color and purple. I really like those together, like I said. And it also says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival on the back. This one's 88, which is like the usual price for a lounge fly. It doesn't have any ears or anything on it. And I wonder what the print is inside. Can we see it? It's figment. They're not gonna have a lounge fly bag and not have lounge fly ears. So they've got figment ears. They have a removable bow and I really love the bow on these. I'm not like totally sold on the ears. I wish. I was talking to the cast member the first day that we were here about this. She was telling me about the removable bow. We were saying, how great would it be if they just sold bows? Like you can just buy the ear and then you can buy the removable bows. Because a lot of them lately do have removable bows. And sometimes I only want the bows. And sometimes I only want the ears, but I don't need both. So it would be really cool. Like they have the customizable ones at Ever After at Disney Springs if they did something like just bows that you could buy and then just ears. Anyway, I wish I could just buy the bow. But these are so cute, I'm gonna end up getting them because they have figment on them. And I have every pair of figment ears that I've ever seen. I must get. 
There's so much merch for the Food and Wine Festival, but guess what? It goes until November 23rd, so we have tons of time to look at more of it and to think about all of the purchases we would like to make. Start saving our coins. There's a lot of stuff that's really cute. with Emile's Fromage Montage this year. Usually on every food stroll, there's maybe like one item that I'm not totally in love with, but everything that we had on the food stroll was great. I mean, they are all cheese themed, so like how can you mess cheese up? We also did Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. We had a really hard time finding the one that was in Italy. We were looking for, I don't know, 45 minutes. Maybe just 30 minutes, but it was hot, so it felt even longer. I'm gonna have a whole post up on Extra Magic Minutes that will have all the locations for the scavenger hunt, which I always have to look it up when I'm out and there wasn't anything but the first day. So that will be there if you're coming to the festival and you can't find a Remy. I'll have that little resource there for you if you wanna cheat and take a look and see where they are. You can look for help. You can phone a friend and that friend is me and I know where the rats are, so. But it was still fun. It's just it was harder this year. Our time at Food & Wine so far has been completely surreal. I have to tell you, every time someone comes up to me and says that they love our channel and they watch our videos, I'm like, are you sure you're thinking of me? And they're like, yes, we're thinking of you. And uh, I'm just so grateful that people come up and, and meet us in the park. I love meeting new people. I love talking to you guys. So if you ever see us in the park, please come up to meet us. Uh, we'd love to meet you and we really appreciate all of your support on the channel and i love reading all of your comments so if you're you know we can't meet in person but you comment that's amazing too i just really appreciate all of the support and uh, i wanted to do a special shout out for a couple of people i wanted to thank ian because he sent us a paypal so that we could get some halloween treats and we got the funnel cake and the skull blondie with that and those were my two favorite snacks so thank you very much ian I also wanted to thank Eddie and Tammy. They sent a buy me a coffee and we got our Joffrey's peanut butter and jelly coffee with that. So thank you so much for sending that. That was so nice of you. So it was so nice to meet you, Jim and Sandy. What you said about the parade was so nice. The boyfriend's been talking about it for days. He really appreciates the compliment. We also met Ashley and Emma from We Were Cute. You guys were so, so kind. It was so nice to meet you. And it was so nice to meet you, Christine. You really sold me on the figment ears. They went perfect with your hair. And now I really want a pair because I was looking at them on you and I was like, I need those too so we can match. And there's so many other people that we ran into today but we didn't grab pictures with. But I really appreciate you guys coming up and saying hello. And uh, anyone else, if I didn't catch your name, I'm so sorry, but it was so nice to meet you guys. A couple of people asked, so we actually did start a Patreon. It's Loki themed, that's the TVA. We thought Extra Magic Minutes, Miss Minutes, Loki. Also, I just really love Loki, so it totally fits. And we have a $3 tier that's for early supporters. We're gonna have bonus content on there, behind the scenes. There's no obligation to join, but if you want to, we'll have a link in the description below. And we're definitely gonna be coming back for more food and wine. There's a bunch of new to us food that we wanna try, so that's gonna be our next video. And then we may even do another one where we come and try some of our festival favorites. The festival runs until November and there's so much good food to try. Thank you so much for coming with us on our food and wine day one, and we'll see you on the next one.